Holly again from BloomHowTo.com and today I don't have a tutorial for you. I have another review video and today we're going to be reviewing the Metallitex printed 260 balloons. So I saw these, uh, I got them from ContinentalSales.net and I don't usually buy Metallitex balloons just because I tried them a long time ago and they seem to pop a lot more frequently and just not be um, as sturdy, I guess. I don't know <laughs> what the word for it is. Um, but when I saw that they had 260s with zebra print and tiger print, I was like, oh, have to try that because I love making balloons for kids, but when it's one that I have to draw like a ton of stripes all over the body, <laughs> It's like, uh, please don't ask for a zebra. <laughs> Just because drawing all the stripes on it, it takes up so much time. So I saw these, I was like, I have to try that. And I'm actually quite impressed with them. So let me give you a quick little demonstration of what these look like when they're blown up. This is what they look like when they're not blown up. So you can kind of see the print is on two sides of the balloon. And then you just grab your little pump here and let's blow it all the way up so you can see whoa, what the print looks like. Okay, so here is the balloon fully inflated. So um, I love the print, it looks great. It's unfortunate that it can't be all over the balloon because that would be really cool, but I'm sure there's a ton of restrictions when it comes to printing on balloons. Um, the print doesn't actually start for a, at least a good six inches, depending on how long you make your nozzle here. Um, so you have to take that in consideration with whatever you're making, that the first couple of twists aren't going to have a print on it unless you, you know, tie it off right here. And then when you are twisting, you have to be mindful of where the print is actually going to show up at, because if you twist it just so, you might just look like a white balloon because it's only on the two sides here. Also, it doesn't go the full length of the balloon, which would be really nice, um, but you can see we've got this just about fully inflated and it stops at least a good foot, maybe foot and a half. I'm really bad at estimating measurements. Let me see. And a forearm's length. <laughs> So that's another thing you have to keep in mind when you're twisting is, is the print is only really in the middle part of the balloon. But it is so nice not to have to draw zebra stripes. So I am a big fan of this new print. And let me show you, we've also got the tiger print, which is very similar to the zebra print. So here we go with the balloon uninflated. It feels so funny to have a print on a 260. Um, let's go ahead and blow this guy up. Oops, a long one. All right, so that is the tiger print. So let me hold them both up here so you can see the difference. The tiger print is actually a little bit nicer looking um, it just doesn't feel as small as the zebra print. I don't know if that makes sense, but it seems like it takes up more of the balloon. Maybe it's because this balloon blew up a little bit thicker, um, but it's just more spread out and I think it looks really nice as far as a tiger print goes and I could never draw tiger stripes that look that good. <laughs> so same thing with the print. You've got at least six inches here up at the beginning where there's no print. So you just gotta be aware of that when you're twisting whatever de tiger design you choose to make. And then same thing here at the end, there are no stripes on the tail. So, there you go. And it's just on the two sides, just like the zebra print. And it does feel a little rough. Um, so you just wanna twist carefully because the roughness could cause some extra friction when you're twisting and make it easier to pop. So just be careful. I haven't noticed any problems with them being more prone to popping than other balloons. Uh, it's just something to keep in mind. All right, so that is my review of the Vitalitex 
crazy animal print 260s. Let me know what you guys think of these balloons. If you've tried them out for yourself, do you like them? Or are you planning on buying them for your own balloon bag? Um, I think I'm definitely gonna keep these as a staple from now on in my own personal balloon bag. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, let me know by giving me a little thumbs up. And if you wanna see more balloon videos and tutorials, then subscribe to my channel so you'll get notified every time I put out a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.